So when I was in college, I actually was interested in international relations and um, was more interested on climate change issues. And I visited my family in India um, my sophomore year. And I was on the terrace of my uncle's house. And I looked out, and all the rooftops had solar thermal water heaters on top. And it kind of hit me that this is the future, that um, people in developing countries can leapfrog to new technologies, including renewable energy technologies, rather than develop like the West. And that's actually an answer for climate change. And so that's when I started becoming really interested in renewable energy, and then went on to do an internship at the US State Department on their um, Sustainable Development Bureau, and then did my thesis, undergraduate thesis, on renewable energy barriers in rural India. And became hooked. So I work for the United Nations Foundation on um, energy access. The UN has a uh, the Sustainable Energy for All initiative, which uh, calls for universal energy access by 2030. So the UN Foundation has the Energy Access Practitioner Network as a way to um, champion uh, grassroots and uh, private sector and civil society work um, on this uh, goal. Um, I would say the most challenging part is that we ourselves do not implement projects. We um, coordinate and um, bring a lot of attention to the issues, which is really exciting. But we're not the ones going you know, into Africa putting solar on rooftops, uh, which is, I think, probably some of the most exciting aspects of this work. Um, but at least in this role, we can really showcase uh, those that are doing this work and um, show that these solutions are viable for sustainable development. Really meeting regularly with entrepreneurs, um, companies who are very mission driven, not just profit driven, in bringing energy to uh, the rural poor. Um, I just find that really um, invigorating and every day I um, always wake up uh, excited about the work that we're doing. I think there's a lot of scope, um, especially when I come from the United States, and I think there's a lot of scope there. Um, but I'd say still with the work I'm doing on off-grid, it's slowly moving. Um, there's a lot more political will now with Sustainable Development all, for All, Power Africa, um, to bring um, off-grid services. But because the companies that are involved are so small, a lot of the people who are working in the space are either entrepreneurs themselves or are working for free, volunteering, or just driving this work. So I think that's... It's a, it's a field that's slowly growing, but really as more investment is channeled through and more companies develop and turn into growth stages, there could be really exciting job opportunities. I got my start by doing a lot of volunteering and interning, and I think that that's uh, just having that practical experience with different companies or nonprofits or even government sectors that work in this space is a really great way to get the foot in the door. Um, I, meet, I, I meet so many college students who are really interested in this kind of work, but um, without having these types of experiences, it's really hard. So that's, that's what I would recommend.